This is a mummy that has lived for 3,000 years. Her spirit is sealed. Limbs locked. Mercury is continuously poured into her body, making her emit painful screams. Suddenly, she spits out a large amount of mercury from her mouth, then climb up the chain in a super difficult pose, and then pounce on a guard. Why did she end up like this? It all goes back to 3,000 years ago. In ancient Egypt far away, the pharaoh ruled a huge kingdom, controlling the life and death of all people. He had no sons. And for decades, he only had one daughter. Her name was Amunet, the sole heir to the Egyptian throne. Under the pharaoh's guidance, Amunet became incredibly cruel. In his world, Amunet was an immensely noble princess. However, things didn't unfold according to her desires. Several years later, the pharaoh fell in love with a beautiful handmaiden and fathered a male infant. Amunet realized that her position was now threatened. According to the laws of ancient Egypt, only boys could be the primary heirs to the throne. She didn't hesitate to make a pact with the god of death, Set, who presented her with a dagger adorned with a ruby. That very night, Amunet killed the pharaoh and all her family members. However, just when Amunet was about to bring the god of death into the world, the pharaoh's guards appeared in time to stop it all. Dot and mummified Amunet alive. Her body was transported thousands of kilometers away and deeply buried underground, destined to exist eternally in darkness. The ruby-adorned dagger was also taken into the tomb by the leader of the Crusaders. In the blink of an eye, 3,000 years had passed. A group of terrorists was wreaking havoc, destroying ancient statue, and all of this was witnessed by Nick Morton and Chris Vale. Nick Morton, an army scout, always steals ancient artifacts from war-torn countries in the name of performing missions. Just a few days ago, they had successfully stolen a treasure map from Jenny Halsey's hands. Prepare to dig treasures here and make a fortune. But who knew that the location of the ancient tomb turned out to be the area where the rebels were active? As soon as the two entered this place, they were violently attacked by each other, and they were about to be smashed into a sieve. Luckily, they immediately reported the situation to nearby forces and received military support. This allowed them to narrowly escape the ordeal. Due to the impact of the explosion, the house they were in collapsed, causing them to fall directly. When Nick Morton stood up again, he noticed a large hole blasted into the ground, revealing a massive ancient Egyptian statue. The officer who rushed over quickly saw the intentions of the two, and severely scolded. At that moment, Jenny Halsey rushed over and slapped Nick Morton across the face. It turned out that Nick Morton had a relationship with Jenny Halsey three days ago, not only left without saying goodbye, but also stole her treasure map. However, with the ancient Egyptian tomb right within reach, they decided to set their differences aside. With Nick Morton and Chris Vale by her side, Jenny Halsey entered the deep and dark tomb. Jenny Halsey deduces that this is not a regular tomb, but a sealed place full of evil smell. As a sandstorm was approaching outside, Chris Vale received immediate orders from the colonel to evacuate, but Jenny Halsey is still unwilling to let go, wanting to find out the identity of the sealed person in Mercury Pool. Observing the pool, Nick Morton, in a rough manner, shot and forcefully unlocked the mechanism. As the gears turned, the sarcophagus of the mummified being sealed within the pool of mercury began to rise. The three individuals by the pool immediately felt a chilling sensation creeping over them. Meanwhile, a swarm of spiders poured out of the tomb. After Chris Vale was bitten, he immediately picked up the machine gun in his hand and started shooting wildly. Meanwhile, Nick Morton, looking at the statue on the sarcophagus, couldn't help but see glimpses of Amunet in his mind. Jenny Halsey pulled Nick Morton back to reality. Later, at Jenny Halsey's request, the military retrieved Amunet's sarcophagus from its sealed location, preparing to transport it on a military cargo plane. The constant presence of circling crows around the coffin made Nick Morton increasingly uneasy. Before the sandstorm arrived, they loaded the ancient coffin onto the transport plane. As the plane took off, Chris Vale walked to the coffin in an abnormal manner, and suddenly rolled his eyes, picking up a dagger and stabbing it into a soldier's chest. No matter how the people around shouted, it was useless. Seeing Chris Vale wielding the knife and approaching them, Nick Morton had no choice but to shoot him multiple times, incapacitating him. At that moment, the propellers of the aircraft began emitting black smoke. A swarm of crows swooped down on the plane, causing the deaths of two pilots. The massive transport plane was now in unmanned mode. Many people were sucked out as the plane crashed so rapidly that the door was knocked open. In order to protect Jenny Halsey, Nick Morton gave her the last parachute. Unfortunately, Nick Morton perished in the accident. As soon as the picture turned, Nick Morton in the body bag sat up straight. To everyone's shock, Chris Vale, who was believed to be dead, also came back to life. 
Chris Vail then speaks out about Aminette's selection of Nick Morton, he warned Nick Morton about the danger, Jenny Halsey, who had just entered, saw Nick Morton miraculously revived, but she couldn't see Chris Vail. Meanwhile, at the crash site of the plane, the investigators discovered a mummified Aminette tightly wrapped in tape. As one of them prepared to examine the situation, Aminette swiftly pounced on him, draining him of his blood within moments. Resurrected Nick Morton and Jenny Halsey meet at bar. Jenny Halsey shared the legend of ancient Egyptian Aminette and the rumors surrounding the dagger. When the Crusaders discovered the dagger, they took off the ruby with great magic power from the handle. Burying the dagger and the gem separately in two undisclosed locations. During their conversation, Nick Morton once again glimpsed the lingering presence of Chris Vale. Seeking answers, Nick Morton followed Chris Vale into the restroom. As Chris Vale harbored resentment for being shot by Nick Morton, he warned Nick Morton that they were all cursed. Unable to escape their fate, overwhelmed by the magnitude of the information, Nick Morton retreated to a back alley to gather his thoughts. That's when the mummy Aminette emerged with an army of rats. Just when the mummy Aminette was about to pounce on Nick Morton, Jenny Halsey pulled Nick Morton over, it turned out that it was all his hallucination. This series of weird things made Nick Morton completely panicked, and he even claimed that he had offended the gods. However, Jenny Halsey remained skeptical of Nick Morton's claims, to make Jenny Halsey believe in the fact that Aminette had indeed come back to life. Nick Morton then took Jenny Halsey to a monastery according to the image in his mind. In this eerie and mysteriously quiet place, Nick Morton once again felt the beckoning of Aminette. In the darkness, he quickly became separated from Jenny Halsey and fell into the clutches of the zombies controlled by Aminette. After inspecting Nick Morton's condition, Aminette smashed the statue of the Virgin Mary next to the altar and retrieved the wicked dagger, but just as Aminette was about to summon the god of death, she realized that the ruby gem on the dagger was nowhere to be found. At that moment, Jenny Halsey coincidentally pushed open the door, diverting Aminette's attention towards her. Nick Morton seized the opportunity to break free from the grip of a few zombies and plunged the dagger into Aminette, thereby rescuing Jenny Halsey. Then, the two quickly fled the church in an ambulance, but the puppet controlled by Aminette quickly caught up. Under their attack, the ambulance flipped over in the dense forest, just when both of them felt despair. A pair of well-trained mercenaries suddenly rushed in. Not only did they capture Aminette alive, but they also knocked Nick Morton unconscious. Nick Morton woke up and found that he had come to a secret base. Various legendary creatures and monsters were displayed here. A man named Dr. Henry Jekyll received him and told him that this was the base of the Crusaders responsible for all supernatural phenomena in the world. But the Egyptian Aminette is apparently the oldest one. To control this demon from 300 years ago, Dr. Henry Jekyll sealed the power within Aminette's body using mercury, following the practices of ancient Egyptians. Meanwhile, Nick Morton had been cursed by Aminette, with the soul of the god of death, set, hidden within him. As long as Aminette inserts the dagger embedded with a ruby gem into Nick Morton's body, the god of death will be unleashed. The entire world will be plunged into extreme suffering. Meanwhile, another research team discovered another ancient tomb. When they opened a sarcophagus, the ruby gem from the dagger appeared. With the gem's emergence, Aminette revealed an evil smile. She summoned an incredibly tiny spider that crawled into the ear of one of the researchers. Under Aminette's control, the staff not only halted the mercury injection process but also used an axe to break the electrical panel. As a result of the power outage, the previously sealed office was now open. Aminette quickly regained control of her body and escaped from the laboratory. She immediately summoned the power of the god of chaos and the fluctuation of magic filled the air in the entire laboratory. In an instant, all the glass shattered. Not only that, Aminette also summoned a monstrous sandstorm, and wherever she went, it was instantly reduced to ruins. Under Aminette's divine power, the decaying corpses underground transformed into her loyal puppets, quickly kills the staff guarding the ruby. At this moment, Nick Morton, who was escaping alongside Jenny Halsey, encountered the ghost of Chris Vale, led by Chris Vale, they arrived at the tomb where the ruby gem was located, and Aminette, unstoppable, also arrived at the tomb, and successfully obtained the ruby gem. In order to make Nick Morton succumb, she first controlled the zombies to drown Jenny Halsey, and took Nick Morton to the place where she was going to hold the ceremony. Desperate Nick Morton looked at Jenny Halsey's body, but still refused to give in to Aminette. Seizing a moment when Aminette was distracted, he secretly acquired the dagger, initially, Nick Morton intended to shatter the gem, ending the curse upon himself, but looking at the dead Jenny Halsey, 
he has a new idea. Without hesitation, Nick Morton stabbed himself, ultimately summoning the god of death, Set. With the arrival of Set, Nick Morton possessed the power to stand against Amonet, though his sanity gradually crumbled due to the infiltration of the evil power. His love for Jenny Halsey kept his rationality intact. Nick Morton not only drained Amonet of all her magical powers, completely annihilating her, but he also used the power of Set to bring back Jenny Halsey's soul. However, Nick Morton had transformed into a monster by this point. He could only refuse Jenny Halsey's kindness and silently depart before the rescuers arrived. In the end, utilizing his abilities, Nick Morton resurrected Chris Vale, with his loyal friend by his side. He embarked on a journey to Egypt, where the sands raged. He attempted to break the curse that enveloped him. Meanwhile, the remains of Amonet were once again placed inside a sarcophagus, buried deep underground for eternity. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.